Hi, welcome back to the series of automotive cybersecurity sessions. I am Dr. Krishna Hema, your automotive consultant. So, in this is lesson number three in cybersecurity. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about Tara and terms of Tara. So, we have learned in the previous lesson, like you know, a few terms, terminology, which are which is used in uh, cyber security. So here we would like to learn some more terminology of cyber security. Tara means threat analysis and risk assessment. So what is the goal of Tara? Tara we have three different things to identify that is first one is CAL level that is cyber security assurance levels. The second one is risk values and the third one is cyber security goals. Like Tara goal is to identify threat scenarios and assess the level of cyber security risk. That is CALS, risk values and cyber security goals. CALS are nothing but cyber security assurance levels that is from one, two, three, four. Okay, similar to the S levels in HARA. Okay, and we have some other thing a part of CALS that are risk values that is 1 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in addition to this, like we will have cybersecurity goals as an outcome of it. Okay, identification and analysis of all possible assets of an item and associated threats that can cause a damage scenario so first thing is we need to identify the item and uh, we need to define the item and then we need to identify the associated asserts in it like which is safety which is security critical and we need to identify the respective threats which causes damage scenarios determine the cybersecurity risk level and cybersecurity goal for each threat scenario. Okay, and relevant for OEMs and suppliers as well. For OEMs, like they will define the entire systems or the automotives Tara, but wherein the suppliers need to define the Tara for their work scope. So this is a Tara workflow. If you see in the beginning, like we have an item. Item, first of all, it is a high level scope statement or high level definition of uh, the work which is in the scope. Okay. Or, you know, it is a, an item is a system or system of systems or a subsystem or a simply a function or a feature also. Okay. And first of all, we need to define the item definition. And in, uh, in that, like we need to identify the asserts in it. Asserts are uh, nothing but the cyber security critical aspects. So based on the cyber security properties and the asset candidates, uh, like we will um, identify the asserts and we will get the damage scenarios as well. So and through the threat scenario identification we will identify the uh, damage scenario and we will find out the impact rating so what would be the impact what how much uh, severe uh, the particular damage scenario can cause to the asset so this is called impact rating so through impact rating like we will have risk determination this impact rating will be an input for the risk determination but wherein the threat scenario identification will be an impact for attack path analysis and so see attack path analysis is something like okay uh, if you are an electronics student um, then if you uh, if you know the uh, uh, current path okay it's like you know in which uh, the current will pass so we will have okay uh, let me come to the generic generic example so you might have seen the puzzles like okay uh, at the end somewhere like you know blocks will be there and uh, you need to find uh, at the end at one end you will have a rabbit and at the other end you will have a, a carrot so like there will be multiple blocks and the carrot need uh, means like this hmm, rabbit need to identify the carrot so 
uh, you will draw a line uh, feasible line like how to get uh, uh, how to help the uh, rabbit to get into that uh, to to get and eat that uh, carrot so this is another example so sr attack part is something like uh, you know uh, this um, attacker or the hacker uh, can hack the um, hack this asset okay and attack paths as per threat scenario see each and every threat scenario may have multiple or single attack path okay so wherever the interface is there and wherever so those many attack paths will be there for each interface also there will be multiple attack paths also can could be possible so once after identifying the attack paths and analyzing the attack paths we need to we will get the attack feasibility rating so this attack feasibility rating will be an input for risk determination so with impact rating and attack feasibility rating we will get the risk level okay and which will go to the risk treatment decision and which will go go ahead with uh, for finding the cyber security goal so uh, as an outcome risk level so you will get the risk treatment decision so where you will avoid or reduce or share or accept risk you will transfer it you will avoid it you will, re you will uh, reduce the impact of it uh, through uh, means like by mitigating it or uh, you know uh, by sharing it with uh, the other uh, sharing it is means like complete owner transfer or the partial owner transfer to the um, to the supplier or you know uh, to the respective stakeholder we can say and we need to accept the risk so the cyber security goal will be defined and in the cyber security goals we will have multiple cyber security goals and through that cyber security goals like we need to identify the cyber security requirements so if you see the item definition is common and uh, and hara we will have sl determination and uh, we will have uh, safety goals and we will have safety function safety requirements item definition item definition is nothing but a high level scope definition of a system under development so this is a high level requirement statement we can say for the work in your scope okay an item could be a system uh, it could be a system of systems for OEMs and a subsystem or a group of subsystems. In general, uh, an item, in most of the cases, it will be a subsystem or a group of subsystems because most of the work for, uh, from the OEM is deployed to its tier 1 or tier 2 suppliers. So, the item is our target of evaluation or system under development example of item is a feature at vehicle level for example adaptive cruise control okay for example um, your uh, cruise con uh, sorry your uh, uh, for example um, abs um, anti lock braking system or you know uh, your airbag control so these kind of features are uh, are your item so sometimes like you know the functionality or the functions or the components of the data uh, are also can be considered as item for example in diagnostics module like you know the data uh, collection or you know the mechanism or the data storage mechanism will be uh, see for um, for the networking uh, networking uh, suppliers or you know the data storage cloud suppliers then it will be like you know the data storage or you know the data control or the management will be their item their uh, uh, scope of item so it's like you know based on the scope of your work like the item will be defined so this item definition may be very similar to or it is very it is almost same uh, for with respect to the item definition of the safety so this item definition is a common thing for both safety and security but in terms of safety we need to define a little more extra in or you know in terms of security we need to define a little more extra so asset identification is the other thing is like you know uh, we have identified item asset is something like which is a part of item which is which is security critical 
okay our aim is to protect the asset okay uh, we need to protect the asset from attackers or hackers okay asset is a critical for both the stakeholders means like um, the interested parties or the stakeholders we can say uh, like who are working for this and also the attacker it is very critical because the attack asset is uh, is a cyber security critical okay asset identification is identification of asserts where there is a possibility of consequences of compromised security uh, property that is damage scenario so asserts will have the damage scenario okay as per the first step we need to enumerate the assert based on cyber security properties so example of the assert is internet connectivity cyber security properties these six cyber security properties are very important for the assert to identify the damage scenario like you know if any of this particular cyber security properties are compromised then that will lead to the damage scenario or the threat scenario so it's like first one is confidentiality confidentiality is something like you know uh, this particular data can be used internally or you know can be used in in a particular department uh, it can be it cannot be disclosed to every of the employee in the organization or you know uh, it can be used outside uh, your particular organization or something like this is the confidentiality what about integrity data integrity like you know uh, togetherness of data like you know how it is like you know data integrity is very important feature in, in terms of uh, in terms of data storage in terms of data uses and all and the next thing is availability availability is the data should be available to the all respective uh, users or the stakeholders like uh, as and when they want it non repudiation is something like it is a legal term non repudiation is not is like you know someone is someone could not be able to deny the uses of uh, uh, documentation so it's like it is something like okay uh, you have user id password okay which is uh, or you will have a digital signature and through the digital signature like you know you could be able to you could be able to access the particular uh, particular data source okay and this is like that and authenticity is data authenticity or you know uh, or the security cyber security related means like authentic it should be the data should be authentic or you know the cyber security um, asset should be authentic and the authorization also like you know is whether the user should have a uh, right right access read access or or you know uh, he can um edit it something like that so a person cannot be an editor for the unnecessary things like you know an, an attacker always tries to hack your data and he will try to manipulate it like uh, to, which will damage your reputation and which may cause uh, inconvenience or sometimes a fatality to the uh, to the person like who is uh, traveling inside the vehicle so sometimes like you know when you are traveling in a car okay and due to the vulnerability in uh, or you know in your uh, in some some of your uh, assets inside uh, inside your car like you know uh, through which uh, an attack path uh, an attack phone and which led to uh, the threat and this threat may cause like you know uh, see hackers generally how they do is like you know uh, they will increase the acceleration they will take out the control of the acceleration they'll take out the control of gears they will take out the control of steering they will take out means like they'll they drive your car like you know it's a maniac thing but yeah it happened so it's like you know uh without your intervention and it when you are playing a video game how it will be the same way like they will play with your car so uh which may end and in fatality so that is the reason cyber security is very very important so what is damage scenario damage scenario is a undesirable result due to the compromise in security property uh, we uh, read all the six security properties so those cyber security properties if they if something of the other one or more cyber security properties are compromised then it will lead to the undesirable result that is called damage scenario so threat scenario is the 
statement of potential negative actions that could lead to a damage scenario. So if you know something is compromised earlier, so we will put it as a statement and which we will identify this like you know yeah it could cause a damage to a particular asset so that is threat scenario uh, the next thing is vulnerability vulnerability is a weakness that could be uh, that can be exploited by the threat scenario so what will be the impact rating impact rating is an estimate of a magnitude of damage or physical harm or from a damage scenario so as i said it is like the severity of the damage uh, like uh, is called the impact okay estimation of damage in the group of functional safety finance operation and privacy per damage scenario these are the subcategories of uh, the damage estimation or the impact rating like you know whether this particular the particular thing is impacting on financial safety uh, whether this is particular uh, damage is impacting on finance part or the revenue part whether this particular um, severe particular damage is impacting in operations or it is impacting on privacy or these kind of you know segregations it will have so those segregations we need to uh, we need to put exactly like you know where see you can see here the functional safety is there right so that is the case like you know both the cyber security and safety will have a commonality except other cases like finance operations privacy like the cyber security will act individually it doesn't have any impact on functional safety and the next thing is severity of damage is not every stakeholder is not equally affected by every damage scenario we can rate impact of damage attack path analysis are nothing but a set of actions that could lead to the realization of the threat scenario so i gave it as an example like uh, rabbit carrot and the path like to find the its food uh, like puzzle games or you know um, the uh, what is that the circuits the electronic circuits and uh, you know uh, the path in which the current could travel so these are some of the examples like which is similar to attack path it is nothing but the identification of possible path which must be followed by the potential attacker or the hacker to cause a threat scenario so attack feasibility rating is an estimation of feasibility of an attack per threat scenario it is a feasibility estimation okay how could uh, how could an attack uh, can cause and the next thing is risk determination so effect of uncertainty expressed in terms of attack feasibility and the calculation of risk as per the threat scenario so the risk decision treatment is like you know uh, when we identify the risk so what exactly we need to do is like you know we need to avoid the risk avoid the risk is like you know risk is nothing but a potential uh, issue okay and the potential rich issue like if you foresee and uh, then you feel like okay if i can avoid it okay uh, how come i can avoid it like by providing a backup to it and by providing something like you know uh, by providing much more in terms of cyber security you will have uh, uh, gateways you will have uh, uh, so many other things like you know firewalls or these kind of things like to avoid it okay to to make more stringent system okay and we need to accept it if we are if we could not be able to um, mitigate the risk then we need to accept it but simply acceptance is not allowed so we need to take the mitigation for that also like you know if we, if it occurs see avoidance is nothing but if it, if it doesn't occur at all but the acceptance is if it occurs also like what could be uh, uh, means like a measure which mitigation we can um, take to you know uh, to reduce the severity of it so if you the next thing is share we can share uh, the risk to other stakeholders for example our department is not responsible for uh, for example 
hardware okay you have identified a risk which is associated with hardware then uh, you will share that risk with uh, what with hardware but as a system engineer or a system level uh, uh, business unit so you are also responsible for that if it is mutual responsibility then this it is share you need to share it or if it is single entity's responsibility for example if you are a software person but uh, you have identified a risk which is associated with her hardware you are nowhere related to it then you need to transfer it okay and that means the owner trans ownership transfer of the risk but share is like you know you are responsible and somebody else is also responsible and the reduction is like uh, you need to uh, reduce the risk of impact sorry impact of risk and the cyber security goal cyber security goal is concept level cyber security requirement associated with one or more threat scenarios so we have uh, and the and the statement of cyber security goal can refer to an assert attack path or the damage scenario associated with the threat scenario so you might have get the um, doubt like you know what is the difference between damage scenario and a threat scenario so threat scenario is a combination of an assert attack path and damage scenario and each and every see a threat scenario uh, could have uh, multiple damage scenarios so when you see this thing cyber security goal is very similar to safety functional safety goal uh, and you will have a cyber security concept as well which is similar to safety concept um, here you can see the common abbreviations and terms till now whatever we have defined or you know we spoke we talk about so here you can see an attacker uh, like who is wearing mask and uh, who causes threat and uh, the attack recent update or a patch like a release in this in the software to OTA like which is an attack prone and that became an attack path and there are there is a few it's like as we discussed like there won't be one well one vulnerability it will be multiple and every system is vulnerable so these holes are representing vulnerability in this particular system and this wall is representing as mitigation or control so once it is the impact is impact and damage scenario is will be on the user and in case of cyber security event or cyber security incident and you know there will be there will be a a comment uh, a cops or a police or you know someone will take an action legal action uh, like in case like they could be able to find the hacker or who did this malicious uh, event to the particular uh, particular system like ransom installing ransomware or you know uh, theft of data or you know theft of car whatever it happens like which is against the will of uh, uh, the OEM or the user so it's a loss for the user right so if somebody is taking the car or the valuable asset so then it would be a, a big huge loss for the user end user so somebody need to take an action on or and to provide justice to him a legitimate action uh, so that's it that will happen in case of cyber security event or cyber security incident is recorded so with this, I came to the end of the topic. If you want further more automotive videos, like subscribe to my channel. Also hit on the notification bell to uh, whenever I, I upload some, some video, like you'll get a notification. So thank you so much for your time.